Hello! Welcome to Gmod. I am your host, the Grim Reaper. Uh, don't mind that guy. He's, uh, he's asleep. Don't worry about him. Uh, welcome to Gmod. The, this is Construct. We currently have it decorated for Halloween, as you can tell a little bit from over there. And the green, and the green lights, yes. Mm -hmm. um, you come, 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 come. Let's go, let's go check some stuff out. We'll, uh, we'll check that out in a minute. But, yeah, this is GM Construct. Uh, this is a Halloween themed construct. Uh, I don't know if there's actually any, like, scares or anything. All I know is that it's, like, Halloween themed. And, uh, we're actually, you know what, we're gonna give myself a flashlight. Do I have a flashlight, actually? I actually don't know if I have a flashlight. Uh, there's a stun stick. I don't think I have a flashlight. Oh wait. I'm an idiot. I forgot this is Half-Life mod. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna check this out. We're just gonna check out, um... Oh, it's purple. The water's purple? That's cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just like a cutesy little... Cutesy little mod. Or map, rather. With no huge ads add-on to the uh, map that's already here. Uh... Hey, dude, you gotta be this tall to ride. Uh, I think I'm tall enough. Oh. I'm gonna die. Ow. Rude. So, that's cool. There's a little elevator to get up here. That's cool that even the buildings out there are Halloween themed, or at least they have a green light to them. Not necessarily Halloween themed, but it's all orange out there and they've got green on the lights. This might kill me. It took 10 damage, okay. Oh, there's a there's like a graveyard here. 2013 to 2017, good days. The old Sandy map. Mr. Tonson. A limb on my tree broken by my clumsy foot. DLC for Q4. So these are probably like some references to like Gmod and stuff that I don't, I don't get. Who the heck is Mr. Tonson? So we're gonna go over here. Um, we're not gonna go in that yet. We're gonna actually go in these buildings. And, oh, there's another elevator. One. Two. These hurt me. There's a witch. I'm gonna die. What's that say? Gold? Soul? Solve? Yeah, you you can't you can't go up these elevators without getting hurt. There's like no way. Oh. 
What are these? Oh, I can't. I was trying to like press shift and jump instead of crouch jumping for <laughs> some reason. Oh, that's cool. A little spider web. What is that? And this is... Oh no, this is not. This hill is here. Wait. Did they get rid of the... I don't want to play any of the spooky music because it might be copyright. Hey. More hay. Oh. We're going to go in here. Here's... If there's any jump scares in this map, it's going to be in here. In the big mirror room. Wait. Wait, am I missing something? Am I missing something or is, did they take the mirror out? Is the mirror not in this version of the map? Huh. Maybe they took it out. Or maybe I'm missing something because I, I don't... Hmm. Interesting. I mean, that's GP, G, GM construct. Uh, really. And I have another map I'm going to check out. So, I will see you guys there in a second. Alright. So, this is the Furball Cinema map. Halloween version. Uh, apparently, the Furball Cinema is... I guess it's a server on Gmod. And this is their Halloween map. Uh, I don't know what the Furball Cinema is. If I had to guess, I would say it's a furry map, or furry server. That's just like guessing, though. I have no idea. Um, the workshop says it is safe for work. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> I earned an achievement. Uh, anyway, it says it's a safe for work map, so... Whatever, these are rules, I guess, for the server. We're not here to talk about the server, though. We're here to explore a Halloween map. So, let's go explore Halloween map. It's got Team Fortress 2 assets. Uh, I guess, I guess the first thing we should do is check out the theater, yeah? It's named Verbal. Oh, geez, okay. I can't. Huh. So. Oh, wait. Okay, so let's not go to the cinema, I guess. Let's go to the left first, I guess. It's also raining. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining. So we're gonna go across the street. 
There's a little house here. With no sound effects on the door. I'm assuming this might be like an RP server, maybe? I'm just here to check out a Halloween map. It's a really well-made map. So far. Oh, this door doesn't open. Oh! Spooky. I love the ambiance, though. Like just the ambiance of your footsteps walking around. It'd be cool if there was like a jump scare somewhere. There's a McDonald's! See the McDonald's over there? I do like this. Like, it's just like a normal, like, little place. So I'm assuming it is probably an RP map. Since it's just like a normal little town. Some more health. More Team Fortress 2 health. Is this a Team Fortress 2 asset? It is! It's the Bumanomicon! I was thinking, I was thinking that because that's the uh that's the hat that Marasmus wears. An alley here with uh with a little shed. <clears throat> Can we get in here? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. The tree clipping through the fence. Do you see that? That's a tree house. Hold on. Can we get in that tree house? Or maybe it's just a clock. It looks like a tree house though, doesn't it? That is a very poorly textured rock. We might like no clip and try to fly up onto that rock. Or that, that little clock treehouse looking thing. This looks like a church almost. A pool table. Lights again, I assume. Mm-hmm. Spooky. Very small uh refrigerator uh what was that i i saw a person i don't i think it may have just been my own shadow because of the way source engine is i think it was the shadow of my own arm now what is that why is there an er error in the middle of this room? Excuse me. What are you supposed to be? That's just kind of strange. A room, a toilet, the bathroom. Interesting. We're gonna turn this light on. Oh no, it was the. Sh oh, we're oh, it's just outside. Okay. I thought this was like a basement or something. Can I go through here? Oh, I can't. It's just a fence, though. And this is a massive tunnel that leads to nothing. Let's go to McDonald's, yeah? Let's check out McDonald's. What do you got, McDonald's? There's a Lucario at the register. <laughs> the 
Lucario is running the register. That's funny. Oh, you can't go in the bathrooms? Ah, oh, immersion ruined, honestly. I also wish you could go in the back. I mean, I could no clip back there, which I might at some point. We might no clip to see what's back there. Oh. Wow, well, hey. This isn't like a super Halloween themed map. I mean, there's some Halloween stuff, but at this point, I'm just kind of exploring. Ah. It's kind of cool, you know? It's a nice, a nice, like, it's a nice map. I might check the server out at, at this point. I feel like you should be able to go through here. So, at this point, I've checked everything out. Uh, I feel like, can I still? Yeah, okay, I didn't think so. So we're going to grab my fists again. We're gonna no clip. We're gonna no clip into there. You're no clip in. I, maybe you're not supposed to get in here. Maybe that's. Maybe that was the whole thing. Maybe you weren't actually supposed to be in here. Yeah, uh, you were okay. You weren't actually supposed to get in here. Jesus Christ! That scared me. Okay, so I get it. It killed you because you weren't actually supposed to get in there. It's just like for scenery. I get it. I get it. I get it. But we are going to no clip a few places. Because I want to see a few places. Like up here. Which is exactly what I thought it was going to be. And way in here. I want to. S okay, yeah, okay. I guess I should have expected that. Alright, well, I have one more map I want to show you. It's not exactly Halloween themed, but it's kind of kind of spooky in a sense so i'll be right back with that hello welcome to nowhere so this is a map i saw a while ago play uh i saw the librarian play it and i've wanted to play on it ever since i think he played the, the daytime version, uh, this is the nighttime version, and, uh, well, it's nowhere. It's, it's, it's the house from Courage the Cowardly Dog, and it looks incredible. Um, I mean, there's, there's nothing else to say. Let's just go check it out. Uh, yeah, there's some, like, voice audio clips i want to see if i can turn those off i think he tried turning them off and i don't think he can which is kind of a shame honestly because it kind of ruins the ambiance but eh, i guess there's not much you can do about it but this is courage you got <laughs> you got Eustace's truck, or at least what's supposed to be of it. Uh, it's so well made. You, you, here's the thing. It's like you got this incredibly well made, like, house. Right? And then you got this. Like, this is just like a Half-Life prop. I don't... Could they not, like, make, like... 
a custom prop for Eustace's truck. I don't know. I, I think this this really sticks out to me personally. I think I don't know. I, I, I think the entire thing is awesome, but I think the, ha the Half-Life truck just kind of looks out of place. But everything else is so cool. And, and looking at it from... Well, I guess you have to get closer because... I mean, just looking at it from the outside... Looks awesome. And looking at all the lights on the inside... Looking at the glow... Uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna do exactly what the librarian did, and we're gonna go in here, and into the barn, real quick. I don't remember the pot. Uh, I don't remember if the pot has any significance. I am being... Does the pot have any sig... well, oh well. <laughs> I don't think it had any significance, to my knowledge. I mean, it's been a very long time since I've seen any, like single episode of Courage. The last time I watched Courage was the Scooby-Doo episode, or Scooby-Doo crossover movie, which was pretty good. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Oh look, there's another pot. And it's broken again. <laughs> but this is the chicken hen, which uh, I believe Lake Quack, if I remember correctly, Lake Quack was actually uh, in that that's where Lake Quack came from. We are not going to go into the basement quite yet. Uh, we'll leave that probably for the last little bit. Again, the basement didn't see a lot of use, if I remember correctly, but it did have a, a, a few notable episodes uh, where it was used. Um, it's such... it's so... it's crazy, right? Because, like, this isn't a real house. But like, I, I know this house from the back of my hand and just looking at it from the outside, it looks like an incredibly cozy and warm house. And like, I mean, to an extent, it, 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 it would be, right? Because you have Muriel, which in real life would be an incredibly lovely lady, right? But then you have all these like paranormal things happening all the time, which makes it not... Not somewhere you'd want to live, but I was mentioning that this is, you know, I've also mentioned that this is a, a house that I've never been to personally, because it doesn't exist, obviously, but it's also a, a house that I, I, I know, like I know this house, like I know my own house, right? Just from watching it, just from watching cartoons, and I, 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 th I find that really <laughs> that's funny but i find that really interesting to me i mean maybe it's kind of a dumb thing jeez maybe that's kind of dumb but i don't know did you have eustace's chair oh it moved so you can actually push these around Ooh. hey there's uh king ramsey's there's a picture of King Ramses on the on the thing. I, see, I never mentioned that. See, I, I mentioned I, I saw this this house on uh, the librarian's YouTube channel, um, but I didn't notice like little details like like King Ramses on the wall. So that's why I wanted to do it myself. And he also mentioned, uh, you know, this right. You can see. The windmill on the house and he also mentioned he wondered if you could see yourself in the tv but he never actually grabbed a camera pointed it at the tv and went outside to see i will do just that let's see can you yes you can look at that hello Be creepy if you saw like some little dude out there with you like this isn't a haunted or a scary map it's just a recreation of courage's house and i think that's really neat uh and this is something 
right? You got the you got the kitchen here, which we'll go to first, uh, and then we'll get to this one. But you know, they got the ominous green glow, which is not something you would see in a lot of episodes. But it, it it's got that it, it it's most notable in that one episode that is kind of reminiscent of The Exorcist. I think that's specifically what it was playing off of, is The Exorcist, uh, where Muriel... Uh, I don't really remember much of that episode, but Muriel uh, had that, you know, that green glow coming out of her room. And this is what this glow is reminding me of. And it's coming! Like, it looks like it's coming specifically from this, like, the window. If you look, right? And then you have the back door here, which, again, leads to the basement, which we'll do that in a minute. But then you have this hallway here that I don't... I don't think I remember ever seeing. I, I'm sure we may have seen a hallway here before but I can't think of a time we've ever saw the hallway here but it leads to the basement which we'll go to in a minute I want to leave the basement for the last like it's no like super special but I do want to leave the basement for last um, we're gonna go upstairs first though which upstairs leads to a lot of really interesting uh, episodes. Uh, most notably, Freaky Fred, which is one of my all-time favorite episodes. I think probably everybody's favorite, or at least it's up there. It's definitely up there. Uh, and you have here you have Muriel and Eustace's room. You have Muriel's side, you have Eustace's side, and Courage at the foot of the bed, and you have this overlook of the chicken coop and a little bit of the barn. But this blue glow, which I think is kind of normal for their room, they have this normal or this this blue this blue glow, especially during close to the nighttime. But it makes me think of the, um, the You're Not Perfect, right? Just that, that in particular, had that blue spooky tint to it, right? And then we have this room, which, uh, we'll come back to that, actually. I know exactly what that's going to be. And then the bathroom, right? I, I... I don't like that there's no doors. You know, that kind of... It's kind of sad. But, uh... What you but, yeah. We have the bathroom, which... It's where... Freaky Fred... The episode with Freaky Fred happened. And you also have... The one episode with the lizard? I don't remember exactly that episode but the lizard comes out of the bathroom while courage is over here and it's like oh, i don't remember exactly it's like a motivational thing it's like you don't have to be perfect or whatever the mirror here nice and then right over here look out the window you can see the truck but if we climb up here we have the computer. And again, we look outside, but here's the computer. I always loved the computer. Like, he was definitely my favorite character in the entire show. But uh, let's go back downstairs. And let's, and let's go into the basement. And another pot. 
So this episode, or this, this basement had a few notable episodes that come off the top of my head. Most notably, in this particular area here, actually, if I remember correctly, the big floating, like big white floating head, uh, the big foot, the big purple foot was down here. I believe Cats was down here at one point as well. There's a shovel I don't want. I believe, sh yeah, I believe Cats was in the basement at one point. Uh, was Lake Quack ever down here? I don't remember. Um, uh, yeah, the basement didn't serve a huge purpose in the, in the show, but it did have a few notable, notable moments. And then, we peek our head back out here, the cellar doors, and we're back out here! We can open up the back door. Just like that, we are... And just like that, we... seen the entire house. I love this map. It's... it's... It's simple in the fact that it's just like, like a really small map of just a house. But it's really cool in the sense that it's an entire recreation of a house from Courage. Like, it's, it's incredibly faithful from what I can remember. Uh, and I love it. It's so cool. But, like... This is genuinely a really cool map, and I'm going to look to see if this person has any other, like, really cool maps like this, and I I'm going to definitely check more of them out the other than just, like, spooky Halloween season, right? Uh, but I think I'm going to call it for spooky maps. Uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, feel free to comment, hit that like button if you, if you feel like it. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye!